Mane vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV die o se dem yopo. E mo bi biara kwa ba e ba Pen Dream TV. Se we are new to the channel. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. Don't share ma afo from so and sa and kebi. Chairman Freddy Blay, eh, one of the MPP gurus, uh, we can name them when we are talking of gurus in eh, the MPP, Amanyu Kuno. And then, what to SMB Amani, eh, and Anna Adodanka Akufado, a fat reshef for ya, or yeah, last week Tuesday. Ya, what just a reshef for ye, em fashe, emba, and I say ye, nya positive results from eh, reshef for ya, and Anna Adodanka Akufado, aye, ewo na bayamunu. Na John Hughes and so Atu and Sembi Amane and Anna Adodanka Akufuadu and I feel so the doctor Baumud Bomia. If I almost send me up on the two jar and I said, What shall be up on my share and run up on my pet to me? Ya or one to me, and yet. Now, as men say, I'm ready to come home. Nine tears, Senior Johnny Hughes, a can and Sem. Now, yesterday I told you that the driver, President Akufuadu, as reported by the presidential correspondent of none other but the daily guide was out of the country to an undisclosed location for an official assignment read my lips the president of the republic had left the country and had gone to an undisclosed location on an official assignment according to yesterday's edition of the daily guide reported by the presidential correspondent Godfrey. So yesterday, Sixties and I were having a conversation and said that how do you put the fact that the president is going to an undisclosed destination, but is going to do an official assignment on behalf of the people of Ghana? So we, the employer, yes, do not know where the employee has gone, but we will be footing the bill. And that was how the daily guide captured it i don't know if it makes sense to you but clearly it doesn't add up to me but what it also means is that once the driver is out there will be a mate scenario the mate will take over the steering wheel because the driver has gone out to an undisclosed location on an uh, official assignment or on official assignment so the driver's mate we take over and tilapia has a very interesting cartoon about this whole reshuffle drivers may think maybe we just pull out tilapia's um cartoon quickly let's see tilapia that's he calls it the valentine's day reshuffle and in fact the daily guide also captured it says valentine day reshuffle president jets out um you know after valentine let's so let's let's have it so you uh, it, you see about one two three four five six seven different faces in there um they look like people you know already um and um you can find more of this on 3news.com it says uh, jack toronto jack toronto and uh, trotro station and the two men on the side who are by the heap of refuse of course accra would have been the cleanest city in the world by this time if we had kept that simple promise but it is still not we are hoping that by the end of nanado stem accra will still be the cleanest city and uh, the two men on the side one in white says all oh, correct yeah, that one looks like uh, mr kenofri attacks and then one sticking his neck out says you have been appointed as the senior bookman and then uh, the two on the bus are watching but there are or the, the bags of taxes that they have to contend with the driver's neck is sticking out of the windshield and you can clearly tell that the tires are not stabilized um the the number number plate is e levy and then on the right hand side you see st uh, still the tires are wobbling so that is what we have here uh a, a, a satire by tilapia the cartoonist and um, so i asked the question now that the driver is out of the scenario the mate is the one who was taking over uh is the mate able to drive the car is the mate able to take us to the destination because so far the driver's mate has been telling us that he is only an advisor and within the corridors of power and given the opportunity to be in the seat he will do better so now that uh, the driver is out of the jurisdiction and the mate is in the driving seat the simple question to ask is is he capable enough to take us to the place we want to go now or he will wait he will wait now you know that there's also the news about fuel price increases that is set to happen and i always like the throwbacks 
So this was on the 3rd of December 2016. 3rd of December um, 2016. And Dr. Mahmoud Baumia originally post. Please put it up. Enough of my face. But I'm not the celebrity here. It says, to the taxi and truck truck driver who has been hit by high cost of fuel and insurance, you have a chance to vote for change. To the taxi and truck truck driver who has been hit by high cost of fuel and insurance, you have a chance to vote for change. That was the hashtag. This was Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, uh, who now says is the driver's mate, on the 3rd of December 2016. And it appears Dr. Baumia spoke about on every subject. So when the matters come up, you just have to sometimes go into the archives, look for what he said then, and then juxtapose it to what he's saying now, and then ask yourself the question, okay, fool, no more to be tall, as Nanado asked us. And then you ask yourself, insurance, no more to meet ya. And then you ask yourself those two questions. So that's uh, from, the, from the archives for you. This is what Dr. Baumia had said in the past. What is he saying now is a question to ask. But... You know, Dr. Baumia couldn't have said these things if the NPP hadn't gotten a manifesto that was going to drive the 2016 campaign. The leader of that campaign, indeed, and the leader flag bearer was Nana Dodanko Kufado, who still remains our president. <clears throat> and this was the preamble of his, of his social contract, which is the manifesto. Now... Uh, please enlarge it for me. It's the 2016 manifesto with a beautiful photo of the president, Nana Dodankwe Kufado. It says, my vision for Ghana. It reads, my vision for Ghana. Our nation is in crisis. A crisis created and sustained by the mismanagement, incompetence and corruption of the Mahama-led National Democratic Congress NDC government. Economic conditions are worsening by the day. And there is so much suffering in the land. But Ghana does not have to be like this. Ghana deserves the best. I have dedicated my life to public service to change Ghana for good. As president, with the help of the almighty God, I will be committed to a different kind of government. One that governs in the national interest, not for private gain. One that governs in the national interest a different government that governs in the national interest and one that is not for private gain but when you think about the fact that you have spent 12 million dollars of money that you claim you don't have on a botched a japa deal you ask yourself was that the different kind of government which was not for personal gain but in the national interest because that is not the, the best way to protect the national interest. You ask that question first. And then you also ask yourself the many, many different questions that come up each time you hear about the reports from the Auditor General's office. And you ask yourself, is that in the best interest of the country? And then you also ask yourself, ah, if we are padding on all these ministers and all these Article 71 holders, when they are done and they are going away, will we be paying them ex gratia as poor as a country as we are? And is that in the national interest? And is that the different kind of government that was promised? Take me to Chairman Freddie Blay, if you have... Is he also was chairman at the time, acting chairman of the NPP. Of course, he had left the Convention People's Party and joined the New Patriotic Party. These days, when you ask questions about the economy and the rest, and Beatrice did, did an interview with Chairman Freddie Blay, oh, I disagree with you on that. You know, so let's read what he also said. That's the chairman's remarks, and he's a very important man in the New Patriotic Party at this time. Now, presently, he even talks about the fact that the reshuffle really would not change anything, largely. And I'm paraphrasing. Chairman's remarks. Ghana, our dear country, is at the crossroads. So listen, President said the, the nation is in crisis. He said we are at the crossroads. We find ourselves in a messy economic and social crisis. So crisis has been repeated. We are still in crisis. That we know for a fact. About eight years ago, no one would have imagined that Ghana could slip down this much from being one of the fastest growing economies in the world 
by to a highly indebted and highly distressed country. Now I ask you, eight years ago, could you have ever imagined if we would have been in this mess because we were entreated to vote for change? Now it says Ghana under the NPP government, led by President J. A. Kufo, moved from a highly indebted poor country to a middle income country as of 2008. Bravo. The question is, what could have gone so wrong to bring us to our current state or situation? We are honestly convict, convinced and strongly insist that this is due to the mismanagement, incompetence and corruption of the Mama-led NDC government. On December 7, 2016, the people of Ghana will have an opportunity to end the many years of hardship under the Mahama-led NDC government and elect Nana Adodankwe Kufuado as the next president of Ghana. There is hope in capital letters for those of you listening on radio for Ghana. Under the presidency of Nana Adodankwe Kufuado, Ghana will rise again and be on the right path towards economic prosperity and good and accountable governance accountable governance a government that remains accountable to the people and doesn't get angry when you ask questions about accountability so chairman freddie blaze says that we will be back on uh, economic prosperity and good and accountable governance in a stable and democratic environment democracy includes freedom of speech democracy includes asking duty bearers questions and accountability includes duty bearers not waiting to be asked questions but duty bearers providing the answers to the questions that the people may have accountability includes duty bearers knowing that i have gone to borrow so so and so money on your behalf i have gone to break down la general hospital and the people do not have to come and fight me tooth and claw and beg me before i come to rebuild la general hospital that's accountable governance accountable governance is not hiring people to be on social media to be attacking you when they themselves have not eaten a petrol uh, spent a petrol a, a peso from the 12 million dollars that we for example spent on their bought the japa deal so account that's accountable governance this manifesto for change and again changes in block capitals emphasis is a blueprint for lifting the country from the abyss and reverse uh, the misfortunes of the ndc government under john mahama it is my humble duty as national chairman to call on all Ghanaians to vote for nana adodankwe kufuado for president in the 2016 elections may god bless ghana and us all thank you freddie blay he signed now i don't want to believe that mr freddie blay didn't believe the words that he had spoken I don't want to believe that Nana Dodankwe Kufado didn't believe the words that he had spoken. And even better, I don't want to believe that Dr. Baumia didn't believe the words that they had spoken and the, the cause for hope and for change and for economic progress and prosperity and for accountable governance. These days, when you ask questions of accountability, you are treated like an enemy. And somebody put it on Twitter that prior to 2016, each time you ask questions of accountability, you are seen as a patriotic citizen. These days, when you ask questions of accountability, and you see a lot of pseudo accounts that were created about two, three months ago, about half a year ago, and they all have a certain DP. And you will see all of them. They come, they don't add on to the discourse they don't have answers to the questions you're asking all they are doing is attacking and insulting attacking and insulting and we don't build a democracy in that manner so for example one of the questions of accountability that i have this morning is this one 19th may 2017 we will deliver tardy paga rail line vice president baumia and this tardy paga line paga train line or rail line was promised by mr jogati eh? or reiterated by mr jogati at the vetting table this was a promise that was made by president akufado reiterated by mr jogati eh? who is a, currently a member of parliament unfortunately we'll lose him in the next parliament or so but he had also wanted to be flag bearer so he would have been in dr baumia's position originally 
and we all were told about the essence of the rail line and in fact those who have lived in this country the likes of the uh, uh kwami jan twice and if you ask the nyao tama close and if you have the kwami pia names if you ask all of those people who lived during those era they'll tell you that i mean they used to enjoy train rides i used to go to in Sawam. my dad used to take me to in Sawam. we'll go through pakro and all those places it wouldn't take a rail line come back so I had also benefited from it. So if anybody tells me that we will deliver a, tra a rail line, especially from Takradi to Paga, where you don't see heavy uh, stuff being carried on our road and damaging our roads, which is always a problem. And then rails will travel faster because you don't have traffic and, and all those conversations. It would help to improve the economy, turn it around from a Gajizbekan economy to an economy of production and not taxation and all of that. We will be happy. So based on that, the people will vote because they want this. Now, we are in the dying days of an eight-year period of governance. So we will deliver the Tadi Paga rail line. Vice President said that, 19th May 2017. The question we ask now is that, he said the President will leave that as a legacy to the people of Ghana. So the question we ask this morning is, where is that legacy? This one, Enye Bufu, is not anger. It is not a question of anger. It's not a question of insults. It's a question of, we will deliver. Tadi Paga Rail Line, Vice President. Now we are asking you, you are almost done with your eight year period. In fact, you even said we're going to do it in four years and it was going to create jobs and then bridge the connect between the South and the North. So this morning we're asking the very simple question Where is the rail line? Or you are working towards the building of that rail line because today the people in Paga. And my friends in Tadi and all those around the Kumasi line, those around the Tadi line, those around the Buno areas, they will be wondering where the rail line is. So, a question of accountability. Where is the rail line? Dr. Baumia, you said we will deliver. So, the question we are asking you this morning is, where is your scorecard? Another one that we'll ask is when Mr. Kennedy Japan said that we will even jail mr woyomi even in death there's one Jen, there, there's that screenshot we will even jail woyomi even in death and yesterday we were told how a state attorney has been disbarred because he had received in his account no in his wife's account four hundred thousand ghana cities of our money enlarge this for me four hundred thousand ghana cities of our money so the general legal council has disbarred him oh now it says npp will prosecute woyomi even if he dies kennedy japan another flag bearer hopeful of the npp monday the 7th of november 2016 Kennedy Japan has served notice to businessman alfred agbesi woyomi to voluntarily refund the judgment debt money dubiously paid to him during the Mahama administration or find himself to blame if the NPP recaptured power. He assured Ghanaians in strong terms that the NPP, if handed the presidency at the December polls, would ensure that Mr. Woyomben pays back the judgment debt cash posthumously if he failed to refund it alive. So there's the conversation about the Attorney General, etc. And there are many different voices on this Woyomi matter. We even had a song for it. Woyomi, 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 We had a song. And the people were told how corruption was in there. Well, the General Legal Council has ticked one box for us. But the question this morning is, why is Mr. Woyomi still walking free? And near your tea, a year, Johnny Hughes, then some man was so a good Nana Adodanka, a good for the doctor Mahmoud Baumia, and I face to the MPP, a man you could in a effort filled promises, and I face to the NMPA, also may ya or Montime, and yeah, now yet a year, some no ever so ha. A ha, a year, pen dream TV, yet a political news name, and some Mahura, a track who ever gana, and yet a bro, say we a new waha, subscribe to the channel, no, like a video, don't share my affo for so, and sir, and Kemi. You'll be here in the next video, Macra.
Mama, Mama, na Pendrum TV as Na so far so good. Se open online portal ewo Ghana. Ah, ni pa share, ni pa follow, ni pa comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I uh, Pendrum TV.